Hey guys, I'm David and this week's furniture makeover project is a solid oak table with a dated color and quite a bit of wear and tear. Additionally, the two middle leaves are a different shade than the rest of the table. I start with a 40 grit sandpaper to get down to the bare wood and work my way up to a 220 grit. I went through more sanding discs than normal. I would get a lot of buildup of either some stubborn top coat, which the stripper failed to remove, or oil and dirt buildup. After getting the whole table sanded down, I noticed the next day that the original color would continue to bleed through to the top and the edges of the table. I wasn't really sure how to prevent this from happening, so if you have any ideas, let me know in the comments below. This next step wasn't really necessary, but I decided to replace the hardware that joins the table sections evenly with some metal pins. To install these pins, I purchased a tool that helps center the drill holes evenly throughout so the pins match up perfectly. This tool also has an adjustable depth gauge which was very helpful as well. I used standard wood glue to set the pins inside the table sections. I also purchased some hardware that would lock the table sections in place since this table did not have them at all. When it came to the table legs, I was being torn in two different directions. I really liked how the original legs looked like, but only when the table was in its extended form. In its smaller form, the legs just seemed way too close to one another. And since I knew this table was to be given to my mom and she would be mainly using it without the leaves installed, so I decided to complicate this makeover by removing the legs and changing them completely. I wanted to create new legs out of the existing material, so I was limited in what I could make. After a couple drawings, I settled on a leg design. To make the legs, I didn't have the length needed, so I used the middle section to extend all four legs enough so they could have a slight tilt to them. When joining sections of wood, I always use my Festool Domino. This is the easiest and arguably the strongest way to do this. The process to make these new legs did take a couple of days, but it was worth it. I used my DeWalt planer to smooth down the legs quickly and ripped a small section on either side to remove the large rounded radius of it. When it came to choosing the degree of the legs, it was a bit of a guess game. I just held up the legs at a random angle that I thought would work and went with that. To install the legs to the table, I used the Festool Domino as well. That tool really comes in handy and was one of my best investments when it came to furniture making or makeovers, as in this case. I made sure to change the depth gauge of the domino as to not drill through to the other side of the table. The Festool Domino has indicators on all sides to make sure you are exactly where you need to be when drilling. Let me know what you guys think. Would you have left the original legs or was this change for the better? Before flipping the table over to the other side, I finished up the legs by staining them in Osmo's light gray color. When staining small or difficult to reach places, I use a wiping cloth and rub in the stain. On larger areas, such as the tabletop, I like to use a cordless sander attached with a buffing pad. I also have links to all the products and tools that I use in my videos below in the description. Just when I thought I was getting close to finishing this project, the legs that I just installed were bothering me. When seeing the table in its upright position, the legs seemed way too narrow and I couldn't let it go. Or else, I would be reminded of them every time I would come to visit my parents. I intentionally tried to make the legs narrower since I didn't want people beating up their knees while sitting at the table. But this was just not it. So, I decided to remove them and reset them. To remove the legs, I used an oscillating saw and moved the legs about 4 inches further apart and repeated all the steps to attaching the legs back onto the table. 
Now that I'm happy with the new legs, I applied three coats of Osmos 3031 Matte Clear Coat. There's an eight hour dry period between coats, so if you time it right, you can have it all done in one day. And here is the finished piece. I'm very happy how it turned out. I would love to hear what you guys think about this makeover. Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and have a good day.